Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see adding signature in Word document in easy way. Nowadays, electronic signature are widely used in our daily life to facilitate a secure and efficient workflow. It is so efficient by allowing a document to be signed quickly and remotely and it's also cost saving. It uh, reduces uh, the expense related to printing, shipping of a document and so on. So in this video, we'll see different techniques to insert signature in Microsoft Word. The uh, first technique will be drawing in Word document. The second one is inserting a photograph image from a sheet of paper to Word document. Finally, I uh, will see the way to save our prepared signature to reuse it in a future uh, time for a new document next time without further editing again. Please uh, spread your positive energy by hitting the subscribe button and let's get started from the common one, drawing. This is uh, the sample cover letter and I want to put my signature here in the end of the cover letter and let me use the drawing uh, option. Here came to the drone and select your pen for the time being i'm selecting the blue pen with uh, a thickness of uh, i think it is one millimeter you can adjust your thickness and uh, you can see here uh, the thickness is i think it is 0 0.5 millimeter uh, you can adjust the thickness here okay and i think it is 0 0.5 now 0 0.5 millimeter and i'm trying to put my signature in the appropriate place but unfortunately, I can't able to draw the correct signature as you have seen here. Uh, even though I'm using a mouse, I can't able to draw properly. So this method is very challenging uh, uh, to put the exact signature uh, in the Word document. Anyhow, I'm trying my best. Uh, unfortunately, it is difficult for me to put uh, my signature using drawing method. Uh, so I'll not use uh, this method for my case to put my appropriate signature. Rather, let me use uh, the second option, which is uh, inserting the photograph image, and uh, I'll I'll uh, show you one by one how I can do that one. First, let me put my signature on a rough paper uh, using the black pen. Uh, then. Uh, I will capture it uh, f using my phone. Let me capture using my phone. I think it uh, looks like good. Now, then I will export to my 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 uh, folder in my PC, and let me navigate my file uh, or the signature and the photograph uh, image from my folder. And you can crop here if uh, the size of the image is not uh, as such good you can crop uh, and adjust the size of uh, the image uh, it should look like this uh, i'm using this one using the blue pen unfortunately uh, i didn't uh, sign properly uh, you can you can see here it's not as such good uh, there is another uh, trial of my signature on the paper sheet and uh, export to uh, my desktop now let me insert this uh, photograph image into my 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 word document or under this uh, cover letter uh, at the end here uh, go to insert and uh, picture uh, in this picture let me insert this one okay uh, you can resize uh, in such a way until you get the appropriate size you have to adjust the size and uh, you can change also the line the layout option uh, it, it's better to make it uh, the layout option in front of the text okay uh, like this okay the layout option is in front of the text now uh, let me adjust my text hit the enter and uh, drag it up still enter yeah now it's uh, in appropriate position now I'm going to remove this background color, the gray background color to remove that one, come to picture format and hit this one and you'll get the format picture, uh, select the picture, then picture correction. On the picture correction, please make it the sharpness 100%, change the sharpness to 100% and also change the contrast to 100%. The sharpness is 100%. Again, the contrast is 100%. It looks like this when you change the sharpness and the contrast of uh, 
the picture now still it has a background of white but for now my file has a background of white so don't worry i can leave as it is but if uh, the file document has some different background color i have to change the design but uh, for now it's okay and uh, let me change the color from the black to blue pen it looks like this uh, it's better to have a black or a blue just as you want as you like uh, let me export my file into pdf uh, and uh, let's see what uh, it looks like okay this is my cover letter with a signature of uh, a blue pen wow it's nice it looks like this this is uh, uh, the way to insert a photograph image into a word document this is uh, the signature i think it looks like good uh, let's let's see another way for example if you want to insert it in the some application form or some other uh, formatted document after you fill all the information uh, you have to agree uh, about the correctness or the trueness of that information at the end so uh, the, the, they will ask you to put your signature and name so to do that come to the appropriate place then uh, select your uh, picture appropriate picture or navigate your picture from your folder then resize that uh, picture here if your uh, picture has a uh, different size you can crop it uh, you can crop but for me it's already cropped and it's ready and let me change the layout option in front of text now i can able to move uh, the the image as i want as i like so yeah it's easy to move it so it looks like this uh, uh, the form say like signature then name so let me put my name in such a way so the signature comes uh, before the name still the background is uh, gray so i have to change this uh, gray background to do that come to picture format and hit this one the picture format for my picture and uh, hit this photo you will get the picture correction and uh, follow the same procedure as uh, we have seen earlier just make it 100% uh, for the sharpness of the, 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 the signature. Make it 100. Then change also the contrast. Make it the contrast also 100%. Uh, leave the other like the brightness, blah, blah, leave as it is. And no need to change the picture color right now here. But come to here color and... Uh, uh, you can use the blue white uh, 75 or 25 percent but for me i will prefer to use the 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 the, the blue uh this one okay this one still uh, you see the line is broken because of the background of uh, white on the signature so i have to remove that uh white background okay uh, so to remove that one come to this uh, background removal and uh, you have to mark some area to keep mark areas to keep in such a way uh, because some line of uh, my signature are not as such bold so uh, when i remove the background some part of the signature also removed at the same time so to 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 uh, to keep some some lines i have to uh, mark in such a way i think still i have to remove some part okay now it looks good and let's keep the change keep the change okay you see now the line is in appropriate way and let me change it to blue color okay let me write the name here the name after the signature i wrote my name right here now it looks like good oh that's a uh, pretty cool uh this is uh, the way to insert a signature in some application form or in some you may use uh, such a kind of format in job application or in uh, some uh, scholarship application or in some format so you can use in such a way and let's see how it looks like in a pdf form uh, it looks like this in pdf i think it's better yeah you can you can 
put your signature on a Word document in such a way, okay? If you remember the previous one, a signature inserted by drawing, it was like this, but when you compare it with this uh, second method, you can see the difference. Now it's clear because the drawing uh, makes some challenge. Let me remove this uh, a signature of uh, drawing and uh, let me replace it with the signature that I use in a second way. Okay, and let me export it to PDF. Okay, this is uh, uh, the, the new way. Okay, the, it looks like good. This is my electronic signature in this file. Okay, this is another format. This, this is another trial and you can see how it looks like. Uh, this is not as such pretty cool because of uh, my my photograph image it was not good anyhow this is uh, the, the the format of uh, inserting a signature in some files let me change this one into this kind of signature just try in such a way this is a second option you can see how i can do it just second trial this is the second trial i i resize the image in such a way now i will change the background and the brightness as well as the contrast of the picture it's the same the same procedure that i did before picture control and the sharpness 100 percent change the contrast to 100 percent again and you can change the color uh, mostly i'm using the blue color so you can use in such a way And you can export to PDF and uh, look how it looks like. Okay, it's look like this. I think it's better. Yeah. This is another format. Uh, this is another trial. Uh, certainly, uh, let's see the way to save our prepared signature to reuse it for the new document next time because. Uh, we don't need to redraw or insert a photographic image uh, from a paper sheet into our document. So once we did this kind of procedure, we have to keep this uh, electronic signature for next time. So to do that, this is the signature that I would like to save. So it has uh, the signature and uh, the name as well as some other information. So to save this one, uh, let's mark it and come to insert, then go to kick parts, create new building block. Let me say the name is uh, my signature, that is the kick uh, parts and let me save it. Now I will get it uh, uh, when I call it, yeah, it's here. So this is uh, the, 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 the signature that I put in the kick parts so next time i can use it for different purpose so no need to prepare the electronic signature uh, day by day or uh, time by time so once you prepare it you can save and uh, you can put in such a way and you can navigate from the kick parts uh, from your word file and the other one if you need to save only the signature you can copy and come to the PowerPoint uh, to have a, a qualified uh, signature. Uh, put it here or paste on the Microsoft PPT, then save. So you can save the file or the signature in such a way. So a signature in Word file, you can draw in the Word document or you can save uh, your edited electronic signature in the key parts of the word document. They had the way to prepare electronic signature to use it uh, remotely, quickly and uh, without uh, uh, printing or uh, scanning your document. You can use your electronic signature uh, to have uh, a secure and efficient workflow. Please subscribe my channel and let's climb to the new heights together.
from Dalu to Rastashi.